Uh, hey there, this is part two to my um, uh, helping with grief and loneliness um, videos I have started um, a little something like a yoga sort of ride. I'm feeling a little bit more upbeat today. Uh, in part one, I, you know, I know my face is bright red though for some reason. Um, it's a warm day though. It is a warm day and I'm fat. So that don't help. Um so basically I just wanted to update you on how I've been feeling. I, sadness, grief, um bits of guilt, loneliness definitely, coping with um long expanses of day where there's nothing to do and I have things to do but I can't do them because of the uh, the, the way I'm feeling but in the pit of my stomach um, this is all part of the experience for me anyway uh, with the grief um, coping with day-to-day uh, -day life is hard um, waking up in the morning this morning I've got a vague memory of waking up shortly um, and going back to sleep and in that moment when I woke up I um, I remember having my arms in the air and speaking I think I was speaking to Cassie uh, that's Cassie by the way is the person I lost recently uh, just about two months ago um, and it makes sense to me that waking up like that because when I do wake up properly for a moment this happens every day for a moment I it's not a feeling it's more like a knowing that there's somebody in the room with me and I, I feel like that you know if I'm if I'm unpresentable I feel embarrassed I look around and I think oh cover myself over it takes me a while to um to readjust to the to the fact that I'm actually on my own, it can sometimes take about three or four minutes. And then I realise I sort of reboot. So my long term memory hasn't really adjusted to the fact that I'm on my own. I have to remind myself every day. Um and the thought of being alone is terrifying, yeah, but at the same time I'm learning from I mean the internet, wow, I'm learning from the internet, there's a lot of sources that I just couldn't do without, um, I'm learning from the internet anyway, that actually loneliness isn't, it, it, it's very, it's misunderstood, that loneliness is actually a way of, yeah, yeah, sorry, no, loneliness is loneliness, you, you're alone, you feel uh, down, negative about things. But what I mean is it's it's not meant to it, it's the purpose of loneliness is not to make you feel bad. The purpose of loneliness is to help you change, readjust and find ways of dealing with something that doesn't really um, that isn't really the way you hoped your life to be. In other words, being, dissati being dissatisfied with yourself and wanting to improve your life that that the loneliness I find is is um, part and parcel of of that I feel slightly like I'm not making much sense today I probably that's probably right but um, the message I want to leave with each video though is is generally a message of trying to maybe help somebody who is tuned into this video even if one person ever tunes in that person may be feeling pretty bad about a loss or or of something I've covered that I can't remember mentioning um, basically bear with it you're not on your own now when I say you're not on your own obviously I mean there's other people in the world yeah but you can't contact them straight away you you you, you, you're in you, you're cocooned in your own little world I know that but when I also say you're not on your own 
Uh, how do I put this without upsetting everybody? I feel strongly that we're not on our own anyway. That we're never on our own. Um, I feel strongly that you can call it as you like, um, the guiding angel. I don't like I said. I don't mean to upset anybody's beliefs here. Guiding angels are very, a very childish way of looking at it. Even though a lot of people would say, no, no, that's bang on. But I, I've sort of progressed in my own belief. It's for a start. I feel like Cassie's still with me, the person I lost. That might sound ridiculous, and a lot of people will say, yeah, that's because you're grieving. Oh, it's because you're lonely and it helps you. It gives you hope and it gives you a nice feeling during this hard time. Of course, that's true. But it goes beyond that. Even if I wasn't feeling bad. I mean, today, for instance, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I've taken little steps towards progressing in my life and I feel a little bit better. But I still feel like Cassie's with me. I can look round the room, I can look underneath everything. I can pick up everything, I can look behind doors. I will, I'll never find her. She's not physically here. Like like when we know somebody's gone on holiday, we know they're not here, but we know that they're still out there. And death, we're taught at school, we're taught everywhere that death is final and death is... Uh, the most meaning we get out of death when we're young is that... It, we get put in the ground or we get cremated. You know, there's more to it than that. There's probably not a lot more for us to learn about death other than um, we are here, they are somewhere else. But they are somewhere else. And probably not in the same way we remember them. I'm getting a bit deep here. But my message of today will be that um, please trust me when I say if you have lost somebody and it is hurting you and you, you, would, you would prefer to think that that person is somewhere happier, somewhere that they've gone home, that's where I hope, that's where I hope that my message is they've gone home. Existence on this planet is not just here five minutes, gone the next. No. There is more to there's more to everything than meets the eye. I promise you. The person you've lost is somewhere else. Now you can believe in I mean I'm this is gonna sound like idiotic, but I'm gonna partly Christian and I'm partly Celtic. Um I'm pulling a face, I can see myself pulling a face when it's a Celtic. But there's a lot of... I've picked pieces from the Celtic religion which I like. And not just because I like them. You can't do that, no. I know you can't. But they make sense and they fit in with my religion. So... The Celtic religion came before Christianity. Yeah, that's what everybody who's Celtic argues with. But that doesn't mean that religion like evolution changes you can update a religion you can have a celtic religion and you can be a yeah, christian I, that's the way i choose to be and yes i do believe in jesus i, I do believe that jesus is out there and i don't mean to upset anybody by that that's my belief um but please look deep if you're feeling if you're feeling, if you're feeling uh, hopelessness about losing someone, look deep. Don't give up on their memories. They are still. They are. They have gone somewhere. And if you desperately, desperately love them, that love is real. Over time, you'll cope better. The love won't go. The love will stay as it is. The pain will calm down, though. My pain is still here. I'm having a good time at the moment today. I say a good time when I'm having a party, but I'm, I'm having a better time than I was yesterday, the day before. The, the other video I did, part one.
but I'll, I'll be down again and I'll be down more than I've, I could imagine is possible but the point is don't give up hope on your loved ones just because they are physically not here no more they are there with us I, I actually believe Cassie's here with me um, is, is she in the room with me I don't know if that's how it is. I think she's sort of around me spiritually in a way, you know? I mean, quickly before I end this video, I had an experience this morning. Right this morning, I'd slept in. And I was supposed to have fed the cat half an hour earlier. Or no, an hour earlier. I'd slept in. I was woke up. Now, this could be a million and one things, I agree with you. I was woke up by tapping on my head, constantly tapping on my head. On this head. My bald bonds. I felt tapping. Round about. There. And it was sort of tapping like a... If you can imagine a... It's just like that, just like I'm showing you now. And it woke me up. And I sat there for about 30 seconds, feeling this tapping. Came to. The moment I came to, it stopped. It was a real tapping on my head. What was that? Was that a nerve? But my deeper self knew what it was straight away. It was Cassie. She was waking me up because I hadn't fed our little cat, our little furry baby as we call her. <laughs> we we didn't have no kids, but we we adopted and we uh, treasured our little animals. And I was neglecting her. I'd slept in. She had meant to have been fed an, earlier, an hour earlier. So... Yeah. So there's signs. Yeah, I'll get into that on another video. There was a little sign. I've had several signs since she's gone. Several. One, I'm going to tell you in part three. One that is astounding. If you can trust me and believe me, it happened. It's going to blow you away. It was undoubtable proof that she was with me on a certain day. So I will go into that. Anyway, thank you for listening. And um, God bless you all. I wish you all the best in the world. And I shall say bye-bye for now. Take care. Take a day at a time. I love you all. Bye.